this session will be a shorter one and a little bit special because you'll be wondering why uh, in my channel, I'm talking about T-bills over here, the treasury bill, for those of you who don't know. And specifically, we're just going to be looking at the six-month T-bill. Uh, why is this uh, so? Because I, I personally tried to put money in, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get anything at all. Because the previous month, the cutoff, um, the, the previous auction, uh, the cutoff was 4.3%. And uh, I, obviously I wasn't planning to put my money in there for for very 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 long term. It was more of to to park my money there while I'm uh waiting and saving up for my third property. And then uh, at the same time I don't want my money to sit inside a bank, ma. And because everyone is waiting, everyone is new knows that the the inflation now is so high, and and uh and pretty much that's why I think uh when people are seeing, wow, well, you know, cut off you four point three percent for the previous auction. Uh, wow, people are rushing in and then little did I know there were a record 92,000 bits uh, totaling 14.2 billion and so why is this news something that I find is uh, worthy to talk about uh, pardon this article was a little bit late compared to today today is what um, no, they were reaching 18 of uh, November so it's almost more straight away on YouTube. I share this more with my investors who are looking at the market right now. So uh, those are more real time. Like this one is more of a, when I'm free that I share online. So why are we talking about this? Because can you imagine the amount of liquidity in the market? Uh, the amount of cash that is floating around in the market. Okay, whether is it uh, CPF or something because T-bills are not only limited to pure pure cash. Ma. You can also have uh, some SRS and some uh, way, uh, but not too many of them are from what we know now, because uh, later we'll be zooming in a little bit more into this article. And in case you're wondering why, uh, this 14.2% is really, really a lot of money. Uh. Later we will we'll, um, have a little bit of illustration compared to what happened in 2017, 2018. So those of you who who uh hasn't really realized, uh, we are looking more of the MAS coin inflation la. and even if the lower one, which is about five point three percent year on year, la, because this one is more of a year year percentage mark, that means essentially you have within one year you have uh maybe let's say the same month October two o two two o two two to um two o two one, and you've got a difference of increase of five percent when it comes to price of goods, the same goods for increase of 5% on average. La. We are just using that because, uh, of course, we know certain things increase a lot, certain things increase not so much. For average, we have about 5%. And if you compare to the money that is sitting inside the bank, uh, we all know that the normal, normal bank account is not giving us this kind of money unless you have special accounts like what? Uh, OCBC 365 or Multiplier, DBS or some other banks here and there that has higher percentage interest but if you're just a pure pure safe savings account which is about what 0.05 percent you're not even going to be getting this okay so this is just a simple illustration that i got somewhere off the internet and if you look at the cost of goods that is just based on a two percent inflation year on year uh, you have within three years you have and look at the net impact on on, on the cash uh, that you have in the bank. Assuming you have 1% and what's worth 0.05%. And but the thing is, this one is not, it's not over here. Uh. One year itself is really 5.3%. So and it's year on year, it's not like oh you know what within 10 years you got five percent, it's year on year five percent. Uh. So that's why even for me, I'm uh, while waiting for uh while saving up and also waiting for some of my money to come in to to for me to look at my and look to to not just look uh, to commit to my third property to to invest in uh, uh I know a lot of you are yeah, skeptical, you got a lot of fear, you got a lot of doubt, whatever it is. I believe every single market is opportunity. So whenever I um, I save enough and then I spot the opportunities then the, of course the first one to go is myself because uh, no point trying to convince the world to, to do it when I can do it myself as well right and uh, so of course those people who are ready then you can uh, always uh, approach me for the opportunities but that's on the, the, the side track a little bit 
And uh, so what I was trying to do is basically I don't want to keep my money in the bank because I'd rather my money work hard for me in the meantime while I'm saving up for my for my third property. Okay, so over here you can see that uh, inflation is really quite a bit of a concern. Uh, uh, and this seems to be the main topic that everyone is talking about these days. So we took a, take a look at the article again. Let's see, yeah. Uh, $14.2 billion record high volume with just $4.5 billion allotment size. You got an oversubscription of 3.2 times. And that is 92,000 bits. I mean, we have quite a lot of individuals, obviously. Uh, nobody knows for sure what's the, what's the exact number of you know investors to institutions because there can be institution investors also. Uh, but even then, if you... Um, if you can calculate the per head uh, from this this amount to per head uh, even then is easily more than $100,000 per, per head eh. so uh, for me I didn't get anything because I was I was a little bit too ambitious I put in the you know competitive beach which I totally uh, regretted putting because you know sometimes get kyang um certain things maybe don't want to be too uh, uh, but I really regretted uh, that's why I couldn't get it eh, because I nobody knew that the uh the response would be that big. I mean I probably I knew that response would be good, but I didn't expect it to be that good. Previous record was in May 12.3 billion, and then now we have 14.2 billion uh, in just one month. Uh, not even one month. I think this is like what twice a month kind of thing, and you got fourteen billion flooding in there. That's that's amount. That's the crazy amount of liquidity in the market right now. And so why are we talking about this? Because eventually, when you look back into the property market, when you have people who are sitting on the sidelines, or maybe people who are parking their liquid assets somewhere around to hedge against uh you know higher uh interest rate or maybe even uh, to protect themselves from let's say they are losing jobs because they got we are facing quite a bit of layoffs right now right then this will be the reserve funds ma. and probably they these people who are savvy enough they they know that putting the money inside the bank is not gonna help and that's why they are trying to find avenues to grow the money in whatever way they can. Don't be mistaken. We are not really really growing growing but the thing is T bills are generally almost hundred percent safe ma. I mean, nothing is guaranteed, but at least this one is almost 100% safe this, since this one is by government. But at least if, let's say, you can get a 3 plus 4%, uh, that will be quite a bit of hedge against a 5 point something percent interest rate. Okay. And then, let's see, let we jump to the other side. we got uh, T-bills that can be purchased using cash, SRS, or even CPF money. And some people will be thinking, hey, it must be a CPF money. Huh? It's not really like liquid, liquid. But the thing is, you've got only... OA, 450 million out of the 14.2 billion. Eh. 14.2 billion, which, is, which converts to maybe a percentage of uh 3.1%, if I'm not wrong. Okay. And 3,000 out of maybe 92,000 of them, uh, you've got 3,000 that were successful using OA. And that is quite a lot of money. Uh, but compared to the total amount, 14.2 uh, billion, this one is still considered a very, very small sum. So let's see. Uh, so I plot out this chart. I went to uh, MAS, uh, the, the TVO site, and then go and, go and dig out the historical data. You've got uh, 10 years ago, around here the orange color one is the amount that was being you know thrown out applying for the blue color amount and then you've got this gap that means the amount that was above the allowance size and the gap previously 10 years ago was like this now you've got a whole trend of gap that is widened that is a lot wider than 10 years
their jobs, cannot afford their house here and there. But do they actually have to sell for a price for fire sale twenty thirty percent off? Not really. Uh. They just need to sell maybe at market value or sell less than five percent, less than uh, less than market value, and they can probably get rid of the house because now, even though interest rate is high, we still got quite a lot of people who are buying, especially for the private side, because those private property owners, the PPOs, they cannot downgrade back to HDB within the 15 months. So either they buy back to a private or they're going to rent. And if the landlords, they don't get a good price, they'll just continue renting. And in a way, it's a vicious cycle. La. So the 14.2 billion, la, why, to, to put into perspective, your perspective, la, 2017, 2018, we know it was quite a crucial year for the uh, But it seems that we don't really have a very clear sign of, you know, interest rate. Thank you, theoretically, you should have prices coming down because of interest rates. Um, but apparently, it doesn't really seem that um, convenient truth, that much of a convenient truth over here. Lah. Okay. So, at the end of the day, uh, yes, this one is going to be a short one today. I think the important thing today is that... Um, you need to know what is your purpose. Are you? Uh, I know some people they they don't advocate putting their money into T bills because they say that oh you know uh how market is uh is is experiencing quite a drop so they can they can pick up good deals here and there. But that's provided if you are able to spot very very good deals in the stock market. I'm I'm invested. I think I've mentioned quite a lot of us. Uh, a few times before uh, I have a so stock portfolio um, but I'm play am I planning to add more yes but am I planning to add really a lot more no because my specialization or rather not say specialization even my confidence eventually lies still in Singapore properties and if you believe that 5 to 10 years down the road Singapore property is not going to make money because you think we are going to stagnate or we are going to come down then you're just betting against Singapore's economy which I think as long as our government is still doing their job I, I really have no problems believing why we shouldn't be progressing ahead when it comes to our economy so I think I have uh, good faith in our government and even our, in our nation's ability. And that's why I'm going to put a very, very large chunk of my own net worth into Singapore properties. And that's why I'm looking also to buy into the, my third property. And that's why I put money into T-Bills to park the money there. Okay, so you got quite some people who may be sitting on the sidelines, but no, but they are also quite sad, financially savvy. So decide to park their money there. Then you also got some people who, uh, maybe like me, still trying to save on the money, not because they are trying to wait for the new opportunity. They are trying to save on the money and also park there. And then you've got uh, maybe some people who just you know don't want to invest in property, don't want to invest in something, don't want to invest in stocks because everything is so dangerous and and they, they have no uh they have no guts or whatever it is, they'll just go for it. And then, so everyone has their own purpose. So eventually you need to know what is your purpose. But I think the worst part is to continue could for those of you who are just purely putting money in a bank, uh I think please do yourself a favor. 
educate yourself financially, whether you want to put your money in the stocks, put your money in the bonds, put your money in the property, put your money in whatever it is. If you want to secure your own financial future, then please at least learn how to invest in some way or another. And also, um, so that you do not give in to inflation. Lah. I think that is something that is very worrying. Uh, even, even for me, uh, I think the important thing is I don't like to see my money um, value going down, especially the amount that I hold. And that's why I think uh, you need to know what's your purpose today. Yeah, are you going to uh, save up money for your for your uh, first, second, third, or maybe even more property? Or are you going to save up money just to bet on the stock market? And uh, if you are going on the stock market, then you I will say, uh, if you want to put even more money, then please be very, very... Uh, uh, knowledgeable in whatever you do i think we are seeing quite some like uh, ftx uh although there are crypto not really stocks you got uh, ftx really crumbling even the celebrities themselves are getting sued so you, you are seeing quite a lot of uh, uncertainty i i'm not exactly sure uh how much is twitter's price yet i haven't gone and see uh but obviously they are having quite a lot of uh quite a very big, big, big shake up uh, even those people who weren't retrenched they are quitting uh, uh, so it remains to be seen uh, how how the company will be and this will also apply to quite some of the companies uh. and uh, do we, we know that uh, who knows maybe Elon Musk maybe you will say the company we do not know so we are at that stage that where there's a lot of uncertainty but one thing for sure I think out of if I have to compare stocks, compare to property, uh, especially in Singapore property, not talking about overseas property, I think the, the faith in Singapore property is much, much stronger as compared to me having to uh, plunge in at, one, at, at this point where everything seems so uncertain in the stock, in the stock market. Lah. Okay, so I think uh, that's all we have for today. So uh, remember, what we share today is just based more on uh, the amount of TBU's liquidity, which represents the strength of the um of our market. Lah. We have you got quite a lot of cash floating around in some way or another. And that is something for us to know. Um for those of them who are betting against the market, uh I think well you may you may want to be not too optimistic on your stand. Lah. Oh, okay, that will be all we have for today, and then see you guys. Bye bye.